if what we live with becomes what we live for soon we are end we end up with nothing to live for all of us have two aspects to our lives what we live with the, the facilities the things uh, the resources and what we live for those are the values the purposes now resources are important without them we can't um, fun- we can't function just like a car cannot move unless it has fuel and if there is no fuel then getting the resource itself can be a purpose we have to drive to get the fuel but after that once there is enough fuel then we need to we need to have some other purpose something meaningful where we are driving if somebody keeps driving just to put fuel then not only is that under utilization not only will that be under utilization of their energy the energies but also soon they will be wasting their time they will they will themselves feel bored and frustrated because they're not going anywhere meaningful just putting fuel so similarly we humans uh, we have what we live with and need so for example if we don't have food that's uh, then that's a problem and then maybe that becomes our top priority somehow or the other i need food right away but once we have that food then uh so hungry people are unhappy but well fed people are not automatically happy we need something more and that something more is some uh, uh, what do we do so making mo- uh, same applies with money also making money is important but what we are making with money is even more important and thus if somebody lives only for making money say then after some time uh they either feel I, i they never feel that i have enough money because what we are living with can never provide us fulfillment the way what we are living for provides us and that's why each of us needs to focus on what we are living with in a way that some basic level is met an optimal level is met also but beyond that we have to focus on what we are living for unfortunately in today's world we have defined progress largely in terms of improving resources in terms of giving ourselves more but more and better things to live with but that the result of it is that many people end up not having anything substantial to live for and thus we have people living with luxuries and still being unhappy krishna talks about how we need holistic knowledge if we have only fragmented knowledge then that knowledge cannot bring us happiness so arjuna realized that at the start of the gita in 2.6 he realized that even if i get the very best among the things to live with that is not going to make me happy i need something more in my life and that is what he turned to the bhagavad gita for he says turn to krishna for he said even if i get the wealth equivalent to that which is in the heavens no chaita vidma he says in 2.8 rather that hi prapashyami ma apanudyad ोवाइडेड हिम a vision by that made his life meaningful uh, so similarly each one of us 
we need spiritual knowledge so that we can have something truly worthwhile to live for and thus make our life meaningful thank you meaningful and joyful